I said Michigan. Did, Dylan, did I not say Michigan? This doesn't need to be a five-minute nowhere. Let's go. Anyways, 32, Bengals, bungholes, ew, disgusting. The, no, you lost the guy named Devlin Duck Hodges. Get out of here. 31, Giants, <clears throat> 30, Dolphins, thought they were going to win a couple more games, but it looks like not. 29, Detroit, L. I can't take them anymore. Right. Jeff Driscoll's disgusting. They become house cats. Get them out of here. Meow. Number 20, 28. Yeah, exactly what it is. Meow, 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 meow. Meow mix. That's what they are. 28. The skins. They climbing because they got some wins. Just one more, though. <laughs> um, 20, 20, 27. I got the Cardinals. Yeah, they're playing some tougher teams close, but, man, they're just getting loss after loss after loss. 26, I got the Yucks. Um, man, they took it to Atlanta, and Atlanta took down the Panthers and the Saints the previous week, uh, two previous weeks. So to do that in Atlanta Stadium is a big win for them. I feel like they got their offense right a little bit on that. <clears throat> number 20, uh, what number am I on? 20. I hate you. <laughs> 26 was yucks. All right. 25, the Falcons. 24, uh, I have the Broncos. And <laughs> did I just hear you choke on a junior mitt? No. What was that noise I just heard? Jesus. I think that was Jay. He's transforming into a hoodie werewolf. Uh, <laughs> I dropped my phone and it about hit the floor. K Teen Wolf. Damn it, what's doing that? All right. <laughs> All right. Shut up, Dylan. The camera's in the way. This is the this is like the slowest ten count. We should have done these by fives. Anyways, the <laughs> 23, the Saxonville Jaguars dropping another game, double-digit loss. Why does every team have to have a nickname with you? Because it's fun. Anyways, 22, the Jets climbing, climbing. Sammy's getting W's as he's mono-free from Belichick's mono-secret in, uh, what is it? What's it like? A he impregnated the Jets with mono from Demarius Thomas. Wow, that's what he did. I'm not even sure that's that doesn't sound right. I don't know. I get. I Just, see what you did there with the Jets climbing, though. That was clever. I mean, they're not at twenty five thousand feet yet, but they're they're a little above the airstrip, <laughs> in a little height. Twenty one. I hate to put this. Oh, I had to put the Bears. Ew. Wait, did I go past 10? I think I was supposed to stop at 22, right? That was perfect. Stop at 21. Okay, 21. The Bears, Bustiski did nothing, and the defense basically held their own. And that's about it. Bears are Bears. Bottom all half right, team. All right, all right. I'm going to make this a lot quicker than freaking Dave and his nicknames and sequilikis and all this great stuff. 32 Bengals, they stayed the same. 31 Red kin- Redskins, they stayed the same. Wait, quit. Er- yeah, the Redskins. Redskins. You said no nicknames. I said the Redskins stay the same. 30, the Dolphins are down one spot. 29, the Lions are down one spot. 28, Jets are up one spot. 27, Cardinals stay the same. 26, the Falcons fall three spots. 25, Broncos stay the same. 24, the Giants stay the same. 23, the Bucks, Buccaneers are up three spots. Love it. Jaguars <laughs> are down five spots at 22, and the Bears up one spot at 21. That's how you do power rankings without – Taking ten minutes for ten. Number twenty that the L.A. not so Chargers. Um, oh, Baron. Yeah, that that 
a divisional round playoff team last year that looked pretty damn good. And you just and Jay just fail horned me. Um, number nineteen, the Eagles. I can't. I don't know. I, I can't drop them any farther because they're so talented. But they keep pissing me off, Dylan. Give it a couple weeks. He'll be singing their praises. You've been telling me that five weeks ago. No, I said this was going to be a storm. We're, we're through it now. It's more than a st- Listen, oh, the storm has hit. The boat is sinking. Storm. That's what it is. <laughs> Damn storm. The boat is right. sinking. The crew is on top screaming. And Doug Peterson's raising a white flag for SOS right now. 18, the Panthers. Meow. Again. Um... Carolina almost had a big win in New Orleans, just didn't really pull it off. And it seems like Riverboat Ron should stop playing Riverboat Ron situations because he has three losses with three yards that could have won games if he made the right call. Just saying. Well, I mean, Joey Sly was a little more to blame in this one than I think Riverboat Ron was. He was also on the one-yard line multiple times and easily could have ran it in with Christian McCaffrey and just went ahead and put it with Kyle Allen. But anyways, my B, I'll shut up. (laughs) Um, You guys may be mad at me for this one, but 17, I have the Colts. I feel like even with Jacoby coming back, they're just... They're going to struggle. Um, they're missing a lot of players through injury, and Eric Ebron just went to IR. I mean, so what is it? They don't have a lot of players there for for set to use, in my opinion, because we don't know how t- healthy Ty is. You mentioned earlier, Dylan. So sixteen, I have the Browns. I think with their wins are picking up. They're playing. Um, Duck Hodges. I'm not saying he's a bad quarterback. He's a lot better than Rudolph, but. I think the Browns can get it done. It seems like their offense is getting a rhythm here a little bit. I like it. You just gave me a chub. Uh, no, your fantasy team did. Uh, uh, number no, that's my fantasy team. Thank you. <laughs> I got a hey, chub you go focus on... and a four net. You go worry about your chub with the blocks. Um, number 15, the Rams. You got a big drop for them. Rams are just in free fall mode, Super Bowl hangover. Uh, the Baltimore just thwarted them so bad. God, <laughs> they literally gave up every touchdown, which possible way. If there was a pump return for a touchdown, it would have been the trifecta for the Ravens that game. It was that bad. 14, got the Steelers climbing, 6-5, and five, quiet playoff team that could get healthy at the last time, get Big Ben back, and could be sneaky. 13, Raiders dropped a game, got smacked West Coast. Uh, jet lag caught him, and uh, mono free Sammy Darnold got him as well. Number 12, one of my biggest jumpers, guys, Tennessee Titans. I, I love Ryan Tannehill, he's four and one as a QB starter there. Derrick Henry's a horse, they've got offensive weapons to work with. Defense is, is really strong there, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. To see the Titans be a dark horse candidate like Dylan said earlier, agreeing with me on that. Last but not least, 11, the Cowboys. Yeah, can't win, seem to beat the winning record teams. I don't know what else it is. I just can't. Everyone's making up excuses for him, and I can't do it. There's just, the, you have too much talented of a team that was in the playoffs last year and beat Seattle. Didn't they beat Seattle in that last second comeback in the wild card? Uh, playoffs last season? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they beat Seattle. Okay, so with that same team, minus Cole Beasley, replacement with Randall Cobb. That same team, the same defensive layout, all that stuff. This is this is this should be, in my opinion, at least an eight-win team right now. But they're not because they can't seem to p- compete with the upper echelon teams. So I'm going to end it there and let Jay take it to 11. There you go, buddy. I was falling asleep over here. Well, that's because you're old. All right. Oh. 
20 Browns are up one spot. 19 Panthers stay the same. Eagles at 18 down four spots. Carson Wentz looks like the broadside of a barn couldn't hit him in the side Ooh. of his ass. Uh-huh. 17 Chargers are years. up three spots. 16 the Raiders are down four spots. 15 the Rams are down four spots. 14 the Steelers are up four spots. 13 the Titans are up three spots. 12, the Colts are down two places. And at number 11, the Cowboys fall two spots. Ooh, my turn. 10 to 6. I I know how we do top 10. <laughs> that was just number cute. 10. <laughs> um, number 10, Texans. Got a big win against the division rival. They look strong. One of the pow- more powerful teams in the AFC after the Patriots and the Ravens. Um, but I am going to head and number nine. I'm going to put the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs. Yeah, I mean they didn't really have, they didn't have a week to play. They had a bye week, but. Still, you had other teams jumping around them, gaining more momentum in the playoffs. I feel the Chiefs, 7-4. and four, I mean, they just got beat by the Titans two weeks ago, guys. I, we got to see a better week out of these guys to raise them up even more. Number eight, my big, one of my biggest climbers, circle the wagons, the Bills. Eight and three, guys, defense. They have some running backs that can do it with Singletary and Gore. Mr. John Brown, besting his t- touchdown um, totals from his best career or best career year ever before when he was with the Ravens. I mean, and then Cole Beasley did get hurt, but it looks like he will play this weekend. But Bills, watch out playing Dallas Thanksgiving Day. Bills with some revenge for the Super Bowl loss in the 90s. Circle <laughs> the wagons. Um, number seven, I got Trout the Packers. Um, that loss really worried me a lot of stuff. They keep up, giving up big plays. The offense wasn't ready. I mean, this is a coaching staff that had two weeks to prepare for a really top conference opponent. Just there's, there's no excuse here. They literally got punched in the mouth. They fall a little bit from it. Comeback game is against the Giants. Hopefully they can write it. Number six, Vikings. Um, I just feel they don't... They, I feel like right now they're okay. more complete team so here, Packers. I have to ask you a question. How in the hell are you going to put the Vikings in front of the Packers in head-to-head the Packers? Whoop their ass. They're in their division. They have a better division they record. They their ass. Record, it was 21 to 16. Leave, and, and they've gone up on them 21 to nothing. In, and in still let them come two, back 16 points. In week two when we know that's exactly. the preseason and it was crappy and their team was playing better then than they did later in the season and then recouped. Why so, are you taking offense to my power rankings? I got my you got I, yours. Cause, because it's Settle down Vikings, with Quisha. And how the hell are you putting the Vikings in front of the Packers? They don't even lead their fucking division for Christ's sakes. Because right now they're playing better football. Have you not watched our freaking team last week? Against they the would have put up one team in the conference. They would have put Who up, the fuck have the eight. Vikings played? They no. Answer me this: Would you think they wouldn't put up more than eight points against the 49ers defense? Yeah, that tells you that it's an anomaly, not the fact that they're not a good team. The anyway, the, the Packers are at seven. I'm a realist, folks. Six Vikings. I have them there because. Yeah, we beat them in week two. You said it yourself, Jay. Teams change. The last bell horn, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, sorry. The Vikings are playing good football right now. You go look. I, I can't. I was one of the biggest Kirk Cousins haters. He's, he's performing well. Delma Cook's a horse. I'm not knocking the Packers. I'm just saying the Vikings are still a legitimate team. Same record. But, yes, the Packers did beat the Vikings early in the season. Also, that was 10 weeks ago. So, that's my 10 through 6. And he just keeps pressing Bellhorn. I don't care. Just because he, he's homering his team. No, there's a there's a method to the madness, and there you can't have head to head matchups mean more than anything. And if you have a head to head matchup plus 10 weeks ago. Still, 
and the team that you're breaking ahead of them still doesn't lead their division, and you know damn well that when they meet again, they're in their, they're going to whoop up on them. You're not going to rank them ahead of them. That's trying to counter. Being, I just did it. You're, you're being counterintuitive, trying to <laughs> act like you're not putting hey, them ahead you, because you don't want to be a homer. I'm not. I'm not being a homer. I'm being a real. 